Is your data being seen by others? Are you sure that your data is safe on your computer or your phone or in the cloud? Your data is a critical asset, and it's critical to understand how to keep it safe at all times. Data runs the world these days, and it's important for us as individuals or when we're working on a team and to the companies and organizations that we work for, that data is protected. But is it protected? With cybercrime increasing over 600% during the pandemic, 79% of businesses encountering at least one data breach over the previous 18 months, and 4.8 million theft and fraud reports received by the FTC, the protection of data is no longer optional. It never has been, but it's definitely not optional, and it's definitely something we have to protect. Now in this video, I'm going to address some of these questions that come up a lot with the students I teach or my clients and the comments in my videos. How can I keep my data safe? If I store data on the cloud, can other people read it? And what happens with my files on my phone if somebody gets a hold of it? These are very common concerns and these are very common things that we need to address if we're going to live in this world of data. And more importantly, I'm going to show you an easy to use solution that helps you solve data challenges that I use. It's an encryption piece of software called AXcrypt. Let's have a look at how we need to protect data and look at how data needs to be protected both at rest and in transit. And then I'll show you how to use the tool. Let's say you're at your computer and you create a file and you want to secure that file. You want to send it to another computer. You want to put it into the cloud. You want to maybe send it to somebody else that's on your team. Well, the challenge that we have here is that your computer can actually secure that file. And when you store it on your computer, we refer to that as at rest. But what happens if instead of having it on your computer, you want to send it off your computer? We refer to this as putting the file in transit or in movement. Now, when we put that file in transit, it will lose its encryption if we used our computer to encrypt it. We don't want this behavior. We want it to remain encrypted. So what we can do is take a tool like AXcrypt. We can encrypt the file using that tool on our computer and it will be encrypted at rest, but it also remains encrypted as we move it. So it'll actually stay encrypted in transit and it'll stay encrypted at the destination. So what we need is a way to encrypt that file and keep it encrypted until we're ready to open it. To add to this, we also need to have a way to share these files with others without giving out passwords that access all of my files. And we also need to make sure that that encryption is strong enough that it can't be unencrypted easily. For example, 256-bit encryption. Now you might be wondering, what do I do to overcome these challenges? Well, that brings me to the sponsor of the video, AXcrypt. I was looking for an easy to use solution that met a few important criteria for me. It had to be easy enough that it didn't disrupt my workflow. I didn't want to have to run a complex script every time I needed to encrypt a file or share a file. I also wanted something that would work on my PC, my Mac, my iPhone, my iPad, and when I'm using cloud services. Oh, and I also wanted to be able to share and send those to other people so that they could read the files without having to give them my master password. Not that I was asking for much, but that is what I needed in order to encrypt my files and keep them going throughout their entire life cycle. Let's take a look at AXcrypt and I'll demonstrate how I get all of those benefits that I'm looking for and a bit more. When I go to the AXcrypt site, you'll notice that I have the ability to have an individual one month trial for premium or a business trial if I'm working in a team and I want to use AXcrypt across my team. So to do the trial is quite easy. I have a link down below so you can use that link to get here as well. You'll go in and you'll sign up for the free trial. You get a month. I already have a trial on this particular account. So I'm just going to go in and log into my AXcrypt ID. I'll put in the email that I use to register for the free trial as well as the password. You'll notice that my subscription is going to expire soon so I can go in and upgrade it. There's also the password manager and settings here and such. So I'm going to go instead on this particular machine and download AXcrypt because I haven't installed it yet. And when I go in, I'll be able to install it for Windows or even on a mobile device through either the Google Play Store or the App Store. The file's really small. It doesn't take very long to download, depending, of course, on your internet speed. And then when you go in, you'll be able to go and open that file. You'll give it the appropriate permissions in order to install on your system. And the installation is, is quite quick. So it'll go in, it'll install. It's also going to allow you to use the right-click menu to in Windows Explorer to encrypt files. So that's a pretty handy feature, which I'll show you in a little bit. 
So once I have the app running, I can, I can start the application. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in again using that account and I can go in. It'll actually keep me signed in. You'll see that a little bit later on so that when I go to encrypt a file, it'll recognize that I'm signed in. So I'm going to put in my uh, email that I used in order to sign up for the trial and then I'll put in my password. So let's go ahead and put in my password, make sure that I can log in and I can choose my language at this point. There's quite a lot of languages that I can have with AX Crypt and I can change this later if I want to as well. That again is something I'll show you in a few moments here. I just want to get logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then what I'm going to do is you can see at the very top, I have a number of different options in terms of securing and, and unsecuring files. I'm also going to show you a little later on what happens if I have Dropbox and OneDrive here. So let's grab some files. Let's grab some files here that I want to encrypt, but I'm going to encrypt these using the Windows way. So I'm going to go to advanced properties of these files, going to encrypt them. What I'm doing is I'm encrypting these, but just on my Windows machine. And that's great. They're encrypted. You can see the little golden locks on there. The problem here is that this has a key and I have to have this encryption key if I want to work with these files. So now when I go here, sure, that's great. I can grab these files. I can move them around on this system. So if I put them to another folder, a new location on my PC, they'll move over there and they'll retain their encryption because I'm logged into this one machine. But the reality is I'm not going to keep files on one machine. I'm going to go to the cloud. So here, for example, I have OneDrive. So let's load these files instead. Let's go and grab them again. But this time I'm going to take these files and I'm going to put them onto my OneDrive. So I'm going to grab some files. I got a folder here on files that I want to keep encrypted. You can see that if I drag files here, I can load them up or I can just uh, choose to upload them. So let's bring them over. And now when I bring them over here, they're actually going to become decrypted. So I upload these files. This is now decrypting the files in transit. And that is a vulnerability that exposes these files. Also, when they're here on OneDrive, if I've used Windows encryption, they are now unencrypted and I would have to either re-encrypt them using a key that's available for OneDrive, but notice I'm able to read them. No problem at all. Not so with AX Crypt, and that's why AX Crypt is a better choice than using operating system encryption. Let's have a look here. So I don't want that. I want to make sure that I'm using AX Crypt. So if I go here, I've got the same files, but this time they're unencrypted. If I right click on them, notice that AX Crypt has put a context sensitive menu in there. I can just go right in here and encrypt them directly. Now, if you have Windows open, sometimes it'll pop up in the background, but it's going to say, hey, you know, we've kept you logged in. Do you sure you want to encrypt these files? I'm going to say, yes, I do. So I'm going to go in. It's going to encrypt those files. And now you can see that they are AX crypt encrypted. So we have the little green locks on there. I'm going to do the same thing with OneDrive now. I'm going to upload these encrypted AX encrypted files. So I'm going to select them and I'm going to upload these files. They're encrypted on my operating system, but they're also encrypted in transit and they're also encrypted once they land into Microsoft OneDrive. And you can see here, if I try to open one of these files, so I've got, they have the same names, but these are a different set of files. So if I go in here and try to open one of the encrypted ones, the AX encrypted ones, notice it says, doesn't have the ability to pre this, preview this for me because it is an encrypted file. I'm going to have to use AX Crypt to unencrypt it if I want to take a look, which is quite easy because it sees the files that I've been using if I go ahead and open that file, you can see that I can see the files. I've got a little vault in here. So it does create a My AX Crypt uh, folder in your documents. I actually have these ones on my desktop when I'm doing the demo here. See that they're encrypted, but look, I go to open it and I can read it because right uh, in the background, AX Crypt is going to allow me to read it because I'm logged in. I can also stop protecting it if I want. So I can go in and stop protecting it. I can share it so I can share with another person as well. So as long as they're in my contacts here, I can go ahead and share them in and that will allow me to share the file without having to give them my password. I'm basically saying you can open this file. There's also the password manager, which is quite cool. And again, if I if I've already installed Dropbox and OneDrive, I'll actually get two more little directories there that allow me to directly access uh, OneDrive and, and Dropbox. I'll show you that in a moment as well. So there's AX Crypt and there I go in, I've got my folders that are secured. 
You can see that I've got the icons on there where I can see that they're encrypted, little green icons in there, and I have a number of different options that are available to me. If I go to the file menu on uh, AXcrypt, you can see that I can look at renaming folders. I can stop securing secure folders. I also can invite people to AXcrypt. I do have a number of options. Uh, I'll go and look at those in a moment. I can upgrade 128-bit encrypted files to 256 if I have any. And I can go in and do things like change my language in here. Um, I can include subfolders when I go in. So you can see a lot of different languages are in there. And there's um, things like I can set my inactivity sign out. So if I haven't logged in or used it for a while, it'll automatically for security sign me out so that I have to re-authenticate. So go into my documents. You'll notice though that I have Dropbox and OneDrive. So if I go into AXcrypt and install it with One, OneDrive and Dropbox, I do get those icons and it will automatically take a, a folder or create a folder in there called my AXcrypt in each of them. So here I have in my Dropbox, in my AXcrypt, I have many files that I want to keep safe. So I've got some different files that I want to keep safe in there and I can just say, let's have those secure. So you can see this is a different one, Documents AXcrypt. This is actually my one uh, OneDrive here. So this is the OneDrive that I had. Let's go back to my Dropbox. So if I go to my Dropbox and scroll down, find that uh, my AX script. These are my many files that I want to keep safe. If I go in there and open them up, you can see I've got some files in there. So I'll just go in there and I can say, okay, let's go to my Dropbox. Let's look at the files that I wanted to secure. And you can see that I've secured them. You can either secure them by clicking the secure button here or right clicking them and saying encrypt. So if I go to my Dropbox, again, go down to my, my AX script file. So there it is, folder, my AX script folder. You can see I went through and I encrypted them all. But what about my phone? What about being mobile? Well, here's my phone and I've installed AX script from the App Store and here's my Dropbox. So if I go into my phone and connect up to my Dropbox, go down to my AX script file folder here, you'll see that there's the many files that I want to encrypt and secure. There they are, and they're all secure. Now, I didn't put any text in here, but I can open them directly on my phone. I can go in and I can modify them. So I could go into, again, my AX script. I could choose one of those files, and it'll keep a list of all the files that I've been working with so I can easily get back to them. I can even stop securing one of those files. Let's say I am ready to give it to someone else that doesn't have AX script. Now, first, I should invite them. They should get AX script, and we can remain secure. But let's say I do need to unsecure it because I'm going to send it to someone. I can do that as well right here from the mobile device. So it's really handy on my phone. I really do like it. It's a great way for me to uh, make sure that anything on my phone that I don't really want anybody to see uh, is encrypted. You can see I've unencrypted that when I stopped securing that one file. But uh, it is very important to keep things on your phone encrypted and in transit as well as at rest. As you can see, AXcrypt is quite easy to use. It's also available in 13 languages, which is really good for a lot of my students because many of them have English as a second language and they also need to work with other people all across the globe. So to answer some questions about protecting our files, by encrypting our files, we protect them in transit and at rest. They can't be accessed by others no matter where they are, computer, mobile device, or cloud, unless we give them permission to access those files. And those are some of the things that AXcrypt does for us. AXcrypt reached out to me, and if you like, they gave me a link in the that I put in the description below where you can sign up, get a free trial, so you can test it all out, and you'll get a discount on any subscription that you do choose to buy. But most importantly, I think it's worth checking out for yourself because I do like it quite a lot, and I think it's something that might be uh, useful for you if you need to make sure that your files are encrypted. Oh, and as an aside, they also have a password manager, which can be very useful as well. If you have a lot of passwords, I find that very helpful. So let me know what you think in the comments below and share this video with others that might also benefit, especially if you're working in a team so that you can integrate AXcrypt into your workflows with that team. So check out the link below. Let me know how your experiences go. I'm very interested and uh, keep your data safe.